Eastern Community Radio. 104.5 FM in stereo by the Asian community for the Asian community. Yes, guys, you're tuned to Asian Paradise Radio on 105.5. Much of the Asian Pirates' airtime is devoted to music, everything from film songs to Asian acid house. In between, they also broadcast wedding announcements, readers' letters, competitions, and the Muslim call to prayer. If you can't find what you want on one station, you've got two others to choose from. I listen to the radio all the time. I work from home, I work from here. Um, and because of the magazine, I'm working all hours, you know, middle of the night, um, first thing in the morning, whenever. So um, I always have the radio, and it's always an Asian station. Um, you know, it's sort of, I sort of know what's happening in the news, um, who's coming to Bradford, you know, which Bangra albums come out this week, that kind of thing. Bradford, the community of Bradford had absolutely nothing before. You know, they, they wanted something in, in their own mother tongue, which is Urdu or Punjabi, but they had nothing absolutely whatsoever. We had an hour, of, an hour on uh, the legal station, Pennine, but you know, it didn't last long. There was only an hour, it wasn't enough. It didn't cover anything. All he sort of got was a lot of songs and that's it, and the news bulletin, but that's not what people want to listen to. People want to hear what's going on in the community. Between them, the pirates cater for a range of languages, including Urdu, Punjabi and English and a number of religions such as Islam, Sikhism and Hinduism. The pirates' enormous popularity stems from knowing what their audience wants. They recognise that what pleases a schoolboy born in Britain won't necessarily appeal to his Pakistani-born grandfather. But the pirates aren't so popular with everyone. There's no evidence that the pirate stations, which are now operating around the sidelines in Bradford, are fulfilling any need at all other than some sort of drive by a few people who are running them who want to broadcast. Um, there is no audience research at all, uh, there is no studio facility, there's nothing at all which you would associate with a radio station. And I would challenge the view that the pirate radio stations are meeting any need at all. One of the reasons for being popular is that there's no other outlets where they could uh, get their music. I mean, over the airwaves, simple as that. I mean, there's no other facilities available in Bradford. This December, the Pirates will face a challenge from a new legal station, Bradford City Radio. In line with the conditions of the IBA licence, BCR will have to serve the diverse Asian communities and Bradford's 10,000 Afro-Caribbeans as well. Even with the best will in the world, can BCR really be all things to all people? What we're offering is a completely alternative service. We're offering information both in English, Hindustani, Gujarati, Urdu, Punjabi. Um, we, you know, we've got programs catering for the Afro-Caribbean community in terms of plays. We can even get plays coming over in dramas about Afro-Caribbean survival in this country. Um, and also for the Asians. Everything I say, by the way, that you know, for the Afro-Caribbeans or the Asian is actually complementary in some respects because of the, the shared experience within this country, both at a social level and at an economic level. Baby, oh, baby, oh. And do the Afro-Caribbeans who run Paradise City Radio, Bradford's oldest pirate, think their community should have been given its own station? If they'd have done it that way, right? Um, like, give out two licenses, one to the Asians and one to the Asians. It'd have been much better, but the, the radio station what's coming on now, I do, me personally, I don't think they're going to care. Of. A legal station like the one that they've proposed, BCR, I don't think it can fill the gap like PCR can fill the gap, because firstly, it doesn't relate to the people. PCR is made up from people off the streets, and it's for the people on the streets. Minimum requirement is one Asian station. That's the minimum requirement. I mean, we could do with, say, two or three stations in Bradford or in the west of Yorkshire to provide for the West Indians and the Pakistanis and the uh, Indians. I mean, there's uh, different dialects and different languages. The reason why we had to limit uh, the number of stations in any one city to just one is because of difficulties with frequencies. There aren't enough frequencies to go around to satisfy all the demand. So it's a technical reason. In the past, the DTI, which polices the airwaves, has tended to turn a blind eye to the Asian pirates. This is likely to change when BCR starts broadcasting legally. But will the DTI be able to get rid of the pirates? Are they going to get you off air, though? Uh, no chance. They're not going to get us off. Well, not easily. 
I mean, I can, I can say up to 10 raids. If they come and take me off air 10 times, I'm, I can go back on air. Maybe the 11th time is going to be a little, a little difficult for me, but to raid somebody 11 times is a bit difficult. I mean, at the moment, we're, we're a station, we, we don't move about. As you know, I don't know if you know, most of the other stations in Bradford, everyone, every second week, the location has changed. Us, we don't move. We stay in, since the day we've opened, we haven't moved at all. We make it a fact where we are. Because it's for the community, and if the community doesn't know where you are, what good are you to?